What is the diet solution? What is your diet solution? It may not be a diet at all. You just may be looking for the solution. Let me explain. Many diet programs gain popularity quickly, only to fall as fast as they rose. The rising numbers of people adopt these diets thanks to cryptic testimonials of success. But soon enough, there are reports of dangers involved with these programs that cut out much needed food groups or restrict its users from eating a varied, plentiful, and nutritious diet thanks to extreme caloric restrictions. Eventually, you hear from unsatisfied customers who have since gained back the weight, or worse, those who never lost the weight at all. Thus, the vicious cycle of yo-yo dieting begins, again with the newest fad diet. Diet programs can potentially help you lose weight, but the key question is, is it the best way to permanently keep the weight off? No matter what you do, maintaining a healthy weight depends on eating right, exercising, and making a daily commitment to changing your behaviors that got you to where you are. Your metabolism can go wrong in several ways. Yo-yo dieting, losing and gaining significant amounts of weight again and again. Most yo-yo dieters start as early as their teen years. Crash dieting, people go to crazy extremes to lose weight. Severely cutting calories to as little as 400 calories a day. Cutting out entire macronutrients, like quality carbs and fats. Yo-yo and crash dieting throws off your metabolism, turning it into an evil cycle of a few pounds off, a few more on, a few pounds off, and even more on. Studies show that every time you go on a so-called diet, it can slow your metabolism down anywhere from 10 to 15 percent, making it even harder next time to try to lose the weight. Extreme diets disrupt your hormones. You have metabolic hormones like leptin and ghrelin. Leptin and ghrelin go hand in hand. It's a balance between hunger and satisfaction. Leptin tells the brain to turn off hunger, while ghrelin tells the brain that you're famished. When you're hungry, about to eat, or even just thinking about something delicious, your gut releases ghrelin. Ghrelin goes up when the stomach is empty. This hormone is the reason you always feel hungry at particular moments of the day. Your body's clock goes off and triggers a release of ghrelin according to a finely tuned schedule. Ghrelin levels will stay up until you've given your body enough nutrients to satisfy its needs. Consistent calorie restriction keeps ghrelin levels high, which may be why some yo-yo dieters feel that their hunger intensifies the fewer calories they eat. This is a part of nature's way to getting us to eat. It also throws your body into survival mode. This type of dieting disrupts the hormone balance, sending survival messages to the body to store fat and slow down your metabolism. Many weight loss coaches use the term survival mode to describe your body's natural response to protect itself when you don't get enough food for extended periods. When you regularly eat too little food to provide your body with the necessary nutrients, it perceives itself to be a danger of starvation. Since your body is designed to protect you, it will slow down your metabolism to conserve energy so it can keep vital organs such as the brain and the heart going for as long as possible. While the body will burn fat for fuel, it will also start burning lean muscle mass for fuel, which can slow down your metabolism even further. Sedentary lifestyle, getting too little exercise, 31% of Americans are getting adequate amounts of exercise. That's moderate exercise for 30 minutes, five times a week. Some 40% do none at all, according to the CDC's National Health Interview Survey. That leaves another 29% who are active, but not often enough. Regular exercise is an important part of effective weight loss. It helps control your weight by using excess calories that otherwise would be stored as fat. Physical activity also helps improve your overall health. Research shows that regular exercise combined with healthy eating is the most efficient and helpful way to control your weight. Garbage in. We're overfed and undernourished. Overeating the wrong kinds of foods with too much sugar, fat, and synthetic chemicals and too few nutrients. This disrupts your leptin. Leptin works with the hormones thyroid, cortisol, and insulin to help the body figure out how hungry it is, how fast it will burn off the food you eat, and if you will hold on or let go of the weight. When you eat, the body releases leptin. You have receptors for leptin throughout the body, but your brain is where the hormone is most active. When you've eaten a meal, the fat cells throughout your body release this hormone. Leptin travels to the hypothalamus, the part of the brain that helps you regulate your appetite, and bonds with the leptin receptors there. These receptors control the body's production of nerve peptides, small signaling proteins that switch our appetites on and off. One of the most well-known of these is neuropeptide Y, which turns on your appetite and turns down the metabolic rate. 
Leptin switches off neuropeptide Y, switches on your appetite suppressing signals, and the body gets the message to stop being hungry and start burning more calories. As we walk around in a world over refined and processed foods lacking in fiber and nutrients, this is a big part of what makes losing weight and maintaining your weight such a challenge. We have too much leptin. Research is showing that people who are overweight actually have high levels of leptin. The more fat you have, the more leptin you produce. And similar to what happens to insulin resistance, when the fat, muscle, and liver cells start to ignore the insulin, when the body continually pumps out excess levels of leptin in response to overeating, your receptors for leptin can start to get worn out and no longer recognize it. People with leptin resistance have high levels of circulating leptin, but the receptors cannot accept it, and therefore, neuropeptide Y never shuts off. Leptin and insulin resistance go hand in hand, but just like with insulin resistance, if you lose some weight, you will become more sensitive to leptin and it will start working the way that it's supposed to, and you will actually stop eating when you're full. Stress and adrenal fatigue, being on constant alert due to physical and emotional pressures. The body was not designed to handle biochemistry of stress on a chronic basis. What is designed to save your life is now putting your health in jeopardy. So, some chronic stress symptoms. Energy fluctuations, more fatigue, disrupting sleep, tired during the day, and come alive after 11 p.m. Food cravings, usually for sweets, caffeine, and salt, not broccoli. Body weight, increasing fat, mood alterations, including irritability, impaired physical performance, decreased muscle tone and strength, and mental confusion. If you can relate to any of the five fat factors, yo-yo dieting, crash dieting, sedentary lifestyle, garbage in, stress and adrenal fatigue, then you are in the right place. TLS Weight Loss Solution is your answer. Other programs tell you what they think works. With TLS, it's about what works for you.